Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 26200.5751 and the dev channel for version 25H2. These changes also apply to Windows 11 build 26120.5751 for 24H2, which is available on the beta channel. Okay, let's talk about click to do. In this update, the company is adding something called selection modes. And basically these are controls that allows you to select parts of a snapshot more easily. For example, we get the freedom selection that allows you to use your finger or pen to draw around an item that you want to select. You also have the rectangle selection. This mode just creates a rectangle selection of the item that you want to select. And then there is a click plus click option that allows you to hold down the control key and click on the item that you want to select. I did want to demo this particular feature. However, in my Copala Plus PC, I did not receive at the time of this recording. Now, Microsoft is also updating File Explorer. And just to show you this, I had to switch to another computer that is actually enrolled in the beta channel because on the dev channel, I did not receive this change. And that is on context menu. When you go to open with, you're going to notice the apps icon no longer include the color plates for some of the apps such as snipping tool and that will make icons a little bit bigger and easier to see also in file explorer the company is finally spending some time to add that more for more dialogues for example if you need to copy a file the progress bar now uses that mode which before that wasn't the case also the dialog for confirmation to delete an item has been updated to that mode as you can see right here even further, for actions that require elevated rights has also been updated to the dark mode experience, as you can see right here. However, the company still needs to do a lot of work in order to bring the entire experience of File Explorer to the dark mode. For example, if we go to folder options, we'll still see that we have the light theme even when we're using the dark mode and for many other dialogues. Microsoft also says that it's adding a new animation when hovering over an app group, such as when having two instances of File Explorer open on the computer. Finally, in this release, if we go to Group Policy, more specifically to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and Add Package Development, we are going to find the new Remove Default Microsoft Store Packages from the system. So basically, this policy is going to allow you to, to remove most of the built-in apps from an account. However, this only applies to the creation of new accounts. So if you turn this on and you select the apps that you don't want a specific account to include, you can set that up here. And then the next time that you need to create an account, those apps will not be installed on that particular account. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to see in the dev channel for version 25H2 and for version 24H2 through the beta channel. And as always, these previews also includes a small amount of fixes and small changes. So check the video description for the link to get more details. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes, like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.